We've been having an absolute blast on the show today. Hope you have been enjoying it. But it's not over yet. We're stepping into the kitchen for the very last time this morning. This time with Mr. Roy Esham. How are you, buddy? I'm absolutely superb for a moment. Nice. Had a good weekend? Had a fantastic one. I was off for a change. Nice. She said that's not off for a change. No, no, no. Not at all. <laughs> okay, but you know what? We're cooking with gelatine today. We've been making some really cool recipes. Right now, Roy's going to show us how to make a coconut and lime panna cotta with blueberries. And it sounds delicious, obviously using gelatine as well in this. This is, this is a fantastic fantastic dessert and it's really Italian so it's a really yes. romantic oh. sensual dessert this one eh? nice so and not so too late not no too late to spoil that loved one we're still in the month of love not at all and okay. so simple to make it's actually let's right. actually let's show you off. through yeah. this guys Take us. okay simple coconut cream nice. in a pot normal pouring cream in a pot nothing right. fancy or coconut complicated cream, normal like this. cream sugar all right and let me give that a bit of a stir there. These things are amazing. Kaffir lime leaves. Okay, they really okay. give a good flavor. Fantastic, you know? Okay, let's get these What in. you want to do here now is just bring it up to simmer. There we go. Simmer for about five minutes. Don't boil it, because it's a chance it will yeah. separate. Simmer for five minutes, switch off, and just leave it, forget about it. Okay. For about half an hour, because you want, you, you want those lime leaves to infuse yes. through your cream, your cooked cream. Okay. After about half an hour, as we got here, Yes. Switch it back on again, bring to simmer. As soon as it comes to simmer, switch off. Easy as that. Brilliant. Then you take your gelatine, which we've got soaking here in water to activate it. Okay. Okay, take your gelatine out. Just get that excess water off. Brilliant, and just pop it in there. Pop it in there. And that will now obviously dissolve. That will just dissolve, and what that'll do, obviously, you all know, that will actually set your cream a little bit later. That's it, that's it. Okay, from here, Look guys. Nicely dissolved already. As Brilliant. quick as that and as easy as that. All you do now, strain it. Strain it. All right, so while Roy is straining it, we are making a coconut and lime panna cotta with blueberries. SMS the keyword dessert to 33728. That's dessert to 33728. We'll send you the shopping list and a link to this incredible recipe. Okay, strained and done. And done. From here, there's, there's, there's many different ways you can go with this panna cotta now. You can just simply put it in a glass like we've done there. Okay. Garnish and it later it set, and yeah. eat as you like. Or what I like to do, put it in the fridge, set it sort of halfway. Yeah. Till it's still a little bit workable. It's still a little bit. All right. So you can you can scoop it basically. You can scoop it. Yeah. Okay. You can just peel it out. Nice. Then, what I normally do is in a glass, I, I get some of these amaretto biscuits, put it in the bottom, a few berries, and I start stacking start them up. Doing so you those get layers. These beautiful layers. You know. Okay. But what we're going to do here today, just we keep it plain put and simple it today. Simply in a glass. Yes. That's set already. We've had it in the fridge for about half an hour. Okay. And we're gonna move over here. I've got these oh, berries, which I made a very simple lime syrup with, which was a sugar, a um, little bit of water. Sugar, a little Wait bit till of water. the sugar okay. dissolves, take it off the heat, lime zest, lime juice, simple berries in that, that. Then the berries soak up all that lime, okay. and you get what we've got here. All right. So from here, we're just gonna put oh, a few wow. berries on top. And I mean, is this not. This is not looks beautiful or beautiful. what? You know? It looks so delicious. Really well. romantic. I mean, berries <laughs> are Get some romantic, are they not? Oh, they are. Some biscuits the on the top. The most romantic, yeah. I would normally fill this glass about halfway if you're doing it this okay. way, but, but we want to actually eat a lot, so That's we're going it. this way. And then lastly, just a few more berries on the top with that oh, lovely oh. lime syrup. And check it out, guys. Very beautiful. And then simply, we always want to have a little bit of garnish, so a little mint leaf <laughs> there on top. And that is how you make a coconut and lime panna cotta with some blueberries. SMS the keyword dessert to 33728 will send you everything you need to know. But if you missed any of the steps Roy took in terms of creating this beautiful, beautiful piece here, here's a quick look back. Simmer together sugar, lime leaves, coconut cream and cream. Turn off heat and steep for five minutes. Return to the heat to warm, then add soaked gelatine and melt. Strain and leave to cool. Boil together water and sugar, then add lime zest, juice and blueberries. In a glass, add amaretti crumbs, top with the berries, then pour onto panna cotta. Refrigerate until set. 
and that keyword once again dessert to 33728 and you can make your own coconut and lime panna cotta with blueberries just like the one Roy showed us this morning. Roy, thank you very, very much. This looks absolutely no, delicious. Thank you. thank you. Great being here again. Oh, and that was it. That's wrapping up our espresso kitchen segments this morning, cooking with gelatine and it was super exciting. Learned a lot as well. Shivzola gave us a massive lesson. I promise yeah. you, gelatine. Very, very interesting. But right now, guys, on this note, let's go over to the guys in the main. Sure. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll take this one for our special guest. You know what? That's awkward moment. That's awkward moment on TV. <laughs> but Lizzie, I've made me do this. Look, look how beautiful it is. Can I just squeeze in here? You can taste it, you can taste it. You know, Lizzie, he never brings us anything, so I'm Ever. not surprised he bought you some. What is this now, gelatine and what? <laughs> <laughs> well, well. But you got, it. you got the theme of the day, which okay, is the most interesting thing. Give it a go, give it a go. And? You have to say taste now. <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> Lekker, no? <laughs> <laughs>